Razaban for fighthype.com. We just can't stop bumping into each yeah. other. Everywhere uh -huh. we go. Everywhere. London, Manchester, <laughs> I'm always bumping into you. Mm -hmm. I gotta ask you, we went out for a meal last mm -hmm. week and you went on Instagram Live. And when you went on Instagram Live, yeah. everyone was saying, why are you driving a Peugeot, a red yeah. Peugeot? Yeah. I think it's a 2005 plate? 2007 2007. Plate. And you said you're gonna keep it until yeah. it breaks oh, yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. You've come to Manchester mm. yesterday, I believe. Mm. And what happened today? And today the car broke down on me. Um, what happened was uh, uh, my friend Uma, he's got a Lamborghini. So I got in my car and he got in his car. And I was like, let's race. So he's there in the Lambo driving. And I'm there in my, in my purse, I'm revving it. Mm. I'm driving, driving. And I must have revved it a bit too hard or something. But when we got to the place that we was meant to be going, smoke started coming out of the car and... Do you want to remind me of what litre is your Peugeot? Uh, 1.4 litre. And trying to race a Lamborghini? Trying to race a Lamborghini. Okay. No, I feel <laughs> leave that nothing's <laughs> impossible in life. <laughs> so, a unique um, model. Yeah, so um, my car broke down, so I got £100 for it. I got a scrap, I got £100 for it. And um, yeah, I'm carless. So how are you getting home tonight? No idea. Oh. No, no idea. I see Eddie here. I said, you know, the thing about Eddie, I usually put all my burdens on him. Like, when I was in Glasgow, I said to Eddie, um, I've got a, when we was in Scotland, I said, oh, Eddie, um, I need to go to the States, but my plane's coming from Manchester. So what are you going to do about it? He's like, so Eddie got, Eddie got me, um, he, he sorted out my journey from Glasgow to Manchester. Mm -hmm. So today I, I came to Eddie, I was like, Ed, like, my car broke down. He was like, oh, so how are you going to get home? I was like, you gonna sort something out? But he didn't. He didn't. He didn't offer to. See, I don't know asking him. I'm more like give him, you know, the opportunity to ask me. But he didn't. So um. I was going through my timeline today on Twitter, and someone, uh, someone, put a comment, and you retweeted it and said, "Who has triggered O'Hara off?" Yeah. What happened between you and Carl Frampton? Carl Frampton. Like I'm, I don't like him. I tell you why I don't. I don't like him because me and Taylor have been going back and forth for quite a while now. Josh Taylor, this Josh Taylor, I've been going for, for, back and forth for quite a while now and um, I've never spoken to Carl Frampton, I've never in, had any interaction on Twitter with him or anything so then he tweeted me one day, Taylor's going to knock you out when you fight him so I'm like okay cool, so that's how you want to start off so yesterday he tweeted a picture with him and Taylor after Taylor's win and I was like shut your mouth kind of thing just so I don't, I'm not, I'm not in this game to make friends, I don't need any friends like you see all these people I'm starting with Curtis Wood has, he, he tried to tweet me, I called him a bum, Floyd, he's been trying, you know, when I saw Floyd, we got off on the wrong foot, uh, Taylor, I've been calling him a bum, Nurse, he tried to talk some a piece of junk, he, he tried to say something which was complete garbage, though, you know, I had to, I had to give it to him on Twitter, Webby Davis Jr., I've been giving it to him for so long that he didn't even tweet me no more, he probably, he probably blocked me now, uh, Debbie Matthews, you know, one day, uh, how it started off with me and him, someone said to him, why don't you fight O'Hara Davis? And I was like, and he was like, who's that? So that's how me and him started off. You know, I, start, I started on him, but me and him ended up having a fight and um, I stopped him. But I've got no respect for anyone. Literally, no respect for anybody. But where has this all come from all of a sudden? Because I don't, I don't, it started with Josh Taylor, yeah. Derry got involved. And I don't like him. I've just got a list of boxers. I tell you, what, I don't like him. I feel like people don't like me. And because I feel like people don't like me, I'm like, well, I don't like you either. I, either. I know that if I got beat in my last fight, it would have been, it would have been a national celebration for all boxers in the world. Literally, from everyone, everyone would have been happy, glad, partying, celebrating. All these boxers that I've got beef, like they would have made peace. And it would have been an, it would have been a national celebration, but guess what? I won, and I'm still here talking some trash. You know, after my fight, I was kind of on a low for a few weeks because camp was hard. I was just enjoying life a bit, going out, enjoying myself. But now I'm I'm back in the gym, so I'm back. So all these boxing fans are gonna have to endure with me until they get someone that can beat me. So until they raise someone up that can beat me. I'm gonna keep talking trash, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like any of them because I don't, feel, I feel like they don't like me. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be fake like all these other, but all these other fighters are fake. I, I'm not fake. I'll say what I want to say on camera. I'll say it to your face. I'll tweet you. We can have, it, like, it can go, it can go down. So that's just me. I spoke to Eddie Hearn a couple of days ago in mm -hmm. Sheffield at the press conference for 
the announcement of Kelbrook and Errol Spence, mm. he mentioned to me that an offer had been made to mm. TMT's mm. Ashley Theopane mm. to fight O'Hara Davis. Yeah. And he said nothing had yet come back yeah. from yeah. the money team. Yeah. Um, any comments you can make on that? Um, I know Ashley, I know Ashley well. You know, Ashley, um, he was one of my inspirations, especially when I was an amateur in, in a TKO gym. Ashley was one of the people that I used to look up to. And when I was out in Vegas, he gave me two tickets to go and see Floyd fight. So me and him have always been really cool. Mm -hmm. So I actually someone that I won't disrespect unless he disrespects me. So me and Ashley are cool, but um, it's just business. Mm -hmm. It's just business. He's um, a good contender at my weight class. I'm ranked above him in each governing body. But uh, I feel like he sees me like taking a step down. I feel like he feels that if he fights me, he'd be taking a step down because he's fought a lot bigger names than I fought. He's been in there with the likes of Adrian Broner, mm. a few other a few other big names mm. that are bigger than me. And I'm a lot younger than him. I'm a mm. prospect on the come up. Mm. So I feel like he sees me as a, a step down. I'm not sure how he sees me, but whether they're going to accept the fight, I don't know. Um, it's nothing personal against Ashley. It's just business. Eddie said this fight will sell. I said, Eddie, whatever sells, sell it and pay me. <laughs> Whatever sells, sell it and pay me. Um, I said, me and Floyd had an argument, so I said, I want to fight anyone that Floyd's got. Uh, Floyd hasn't said anything yet, but I think Floyd's secretly advising all of his fighters to keep it out of my path. Because he knows that once I get one of them in the ring and I deal with him, he's going to look like quite dumb. And he would want to maybe want to sign you? No, he can't. He, can't, he, can't. he, he has to apologise first. Floyd has to ap apologise. Before anything happens, he needs to apologise to me. But you know, I'm with the best, the best boxing promoter in the game right now. In my opinion, Eddie Hearn. I'm good, I'm happy. He treats me well. I'm just a bit annoyed today that he didn't start my transfer at home. But you know, we're still cool. Or <laughs> Davis, what's the... It's what I think half past midnight now sometimes. Yeah. Going straight home and straight to sleep. I, um, I haven't finished soaking yet over my car that's gone. I only got £100 for the car. And I'm like, that car's not worth £100. That car meant a lot to me. So I think I'm probably going to go home now and soak. And then tomorrow's a new day. Bahara <laughs> <laughs> Davis for fighthype.com. We shall catch up with you very, very soon. Uh, and uh, safe journeys back home. Perfect. Bahara Davis for fighthype.com. Thank you very much. Thank you.